Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag. TR Tony here, still in the car, still on the drive. Not going too far away, but I will start up the engine very shortly. Uh, glad to have you all back. Thanks very much. And a very big shout out to young Vince from Cleethorpes, who I spoke to uh, the other day. Very enthused about all that we're doing at Ari the Stag. So really appreciate that, mate. Thanks very much for your vote of confidence. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep on doing more material as we get, uh, get more and more done. Exciting times. Good stuff. Okay, so midweek, uh, just a quick update to uh, the Ari the Stag channel. Um, we've had a, a couple of videos in lately, actually, from around the world, as you've probably seen. And um, this week, um, no exception, actually, we had uh, a lady called Ritsky and John, her husband, over in Brisbane in uh, Queensland, Australia, who have sent us in a, a little bit of a clip or, or two about their stag. And um, so it's very interesting. It's great to see. I uh, won't spoil her thunder, but uh, let me just uh, hand over to Ritsky and uh, she will show you all about their stag. Hi, it's Rita from Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. We've just been watching Cliff's lovely red stag and he's from Brisbane too. We thought, what's better than one stag from Brisbane than two? So here's ours. It's an absolutely beautiful sunny Easter Sunday day here and um, we're bringing out the stag out of isolation for a 20 second wash. Rita also wanted just to flag that this is in fact the second stag that they've owned and she first saw her very first stag when she was just 14 and really from that day onwards all she ever wanted was a stag. So when she was in her late 20s she managed to talk to her husband into buying a 1977 white automatic stag. It was a bit of a project to say the least, the body was great but the motor was stuffed. Uh, the motor was in fact pulled apart and in the boot of the car. Needless to say a lot of time and money was spent on it. Okay, so that's the story so far, and um, as with a lot of us, I think um, life gets in the way, doesn't it, of classic car ownership. That's even if we can get to one, sometimes it seems, with uh, all sorts of issues getting the way. And uh, no different here, Rita reports that um, she'd had her first daughter and was then pregnant with her second child, um, their son, and they're also renovating an old Queenslander house, so they needed more money, and where have we heard that story before? So the stag, sadly, had to go at that point, and it literally... Uh, broke her heart to, uh, to to lose it but it was at the time literally as the baby was being born so um, that was what they did back then and really always regretted selling it since and I can't blame her and really a few years ago she started looking and John started looking again for another car and, and this one came up in the colour that they were actually looking for and uh, an original manual car too which is um, which is good you know all of our cars are autos but uh, a manual car is I think is what she particularly wanted to have that driver experience and um, although it was over in Perth I understand which um, I don't know the Australian continent that well but I do know it's a very wide continent up to about 3,000 miles from west to east suffice to say the opposite side of the Australian uh, continent is what uh, Rita flagged so she jumped on a plane and went to went to get it and bought it there and then so that's terrific just giving it a bit of a rinse down now as you can see we've got the black stripe on the hard top First I didn't really like it, but now I do like it a lot. Just drying it off now, letting it get a bit of sun on it. So here's the inside, we've got the fancy steering wheel and some specially made lamb's wheel seat covers. It's pretty neat and tidy inside. Here's the engine. A nice and tidy engine we bought it this way the person who'd had it before really looked after it well no stag videos complete without a stag start up you've got to have a stag start so now we're just going to reverse it out tucked away now nice and safe thanks so much for watching and stay safe over in the uk and wherever in the world you're watching 
Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very, very much indeed to Rita, aka Ritsky, and John over in um, Brisbane, in Queensland, Australia. Really appreciate uh, you sharing your car with us, guys. And uh, especially during pandemic, it's great to get the car out and running around, even if it's just around the local block. That's, that's awesome. So already, if they haven't got it already, because this was Easter when they did the film, we've uh, been editing a few other films since. So apologies for the delay. Uh, in the post, they are having, very receiving shortly, the Ari the Stag sunglasses, which look really cool on the... Uh, well, down in Australia, I guess it's winter now, so they'll be on the uh, ski slopes, if there are any, in Australia, uh, with the Ari the Stag and sharing the Classics Dream livery on the Polaroid sunglasses. So that's that. Um, they've also got each um, an Ari the Stag bobblet, which I will wear for them. Uh, with pride, this is uh, something that people get when they do good stuff for the channel. Very rare these are, so uh, John and Rita both will be sporting those, I'm sure, very soon. Uh, ideal for the uh, the winter weather heading down their way. Um, and you never know, we might see a picture or two of them wearing these in due course. Won't that be good? Um, yeah, that's really cool. Um, interesting fact, actually. Somebody on the um, uh, channel wrote in the other day to say that some of the stags, when they were sent over to Australia, were uh, manufactured locally at actually on uh, the Australian continent, apparently to um, get around some of the import tax duties, that kind of thing, because then they were locally manufactured, which I never knew before. I knew they used to send out Triumphs to India. I had a Triumph Herald many years ago that uh, went out that way um, and knocked down in a, in a plywood box to be rebuilt. Uh, but apparently they actually set up factories in the Australian continent. So I'm really interested if anybody's got any uh, information about that or uh, photos or old cine films or anything like that. It's really interesting and I'm sure we'd love to know more about that. But uh, that's it for now. Uh, don't forget, as ever, you do have the uh, Ari the Stag badge of honour. If you've not got one already, go on to our website, arithestag.com, and uh, there's a, a web page there that you can get one of these free of charge. Um, just leave your details and we'll send you one through the post, um, and that will be winging its way through to you. And um, if anybody would else would like to send videos in or, or uh, let us know about their stag or their journey, then please feel free to get in touch. We're always uh, interested. I'm sure the viewers too are up for that as well. Finally, yeah, we will be back to you shortly with some more um, uh, Triumph Stag uh, technical aspects uh, at the Arrow the Stag home. And uh, yeah, please feel free to like, share and subscribe and uh, follow us on Twitter if you'd like. And uh, once again to Rita and John over in Queensland. Yeah, uh, great stuff, guys. Thank you so much for doing what you've done. And uh, we'll see you all online on Arrow the Stag very soon. Cheers for now, guys. Be safe.